You stay in your room, not eating, not reading, hardly moving. You watch the basin, the bookcase, your knees, your eyes in the cracked mirror, the cup, the light switch. You listen to street sounds, to the dripping faucet on the landing, to the noises your neighbor makes, clearing his throat. Um, and you're probably asking yourself, like, Sammy, that's not that early. But, like, guys, my schedule, the way that my job is, I don't really have anything set in stone. So, like, 1030 is big W's. Big W's. Y'all, I look crazy right now. Y'all see the drip? But, yeah, you guys, I've been in sort of, like, a slump, um, especially when it comes to the gym. I low-key have the body of a 12-year-old boy now, so you know how that goes. That's how long I haven't been in the gym for, so we need to get back on track. And that's what we're going to do today. And I could give you a long list of things of how to get out of a slump, but I ain't doing that for y'all. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to take y'all with me because y'all my best friends. I love y'all. So we're going to do that. But like I said, I look crazy. <laughs> do that. I just woke up, you guys. <laughs> What y'all expect? It's my first day out here. No, it's my second day. It's only my third day out here. I don't know. That's how I go. Whatever. Let me look a little bit more, you know, put together for you guys because this ain't it for real. Mm -mm. This ain't it. Like, y'all y'all give me like two seconds. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'll be it. I'm feeling a lot more motivated um, and a whole lot better. Uh, can't really see the gym fit, but kind of. I'm a bit cheeky in it. If you guys hear me say random UK slang words, I used to be obsessed with Love Island UK, and I just love the way they talk. It's just crack on in it, babes. <laughs> like, I love it. And. But what is in my eye? Something is in my eye. Look, it's here. No means, you guys, am I telling you the gym's gonna change your life? Don't fucking well. And besides, like, the agony, the pain, the struggle of working out, like, getting up and going, it's great. Guys, I actually hate going to the gym. I'm just tired of having the body of a 12 year old boy. So we going to the gym. All right, you guys, we just made it to the gym. And no we go. Sex. No, thank you. Like I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, He said I look like a model guy. Damn. But um, not that you guys would know this, um, but I was actually a super shy kid growing up. And like the fact that I'm walking into a gym, a public space, with a badass tripod, like, why does it give me like secondhand embarrassment to do this? But honestly, we're taking this YouTube stuff seriously this year, next year, all the years. Um, I want to be great, and honestly, like nobody actually gives a fuck. Like nobody's actually staring. Nobody cares. And even if they are staring, who cares? You want to be great, or, or what? So, but honestly, my younger self would be super proud of me. Because I can't believe I'm doing it. Hello. If you want to. You want to say something to the vlog? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. Nobody cares. If they wanted to be in the camera with me. Like. This is what I look like right now. You know. Cute. But yeah, we're going to do a glute day. Because. Need the glutes to glute the way it needs to be gluten. Um, but I forgot my AirPods, so I'm gonna run to my car and go get that real fast. We're gonna get straight into some stretches. <laughs>
I'm taking a little break, you guys. I'm tired. My legs are burning right now. Fuck. Guys, I've been listening to a lot of like Afro beats in the gym because I don't know, I get kind of tired of like listening to like Drake and you know that turn up type music in the gym. Don't get me wrong, like it in the gym it works. But sometimes you know I get kind of tired of it. It's so like raunchy. And, uh, so I've been listening to a lot of Afro beats because I feel like it's more on some positive vibe. So I just like that. I feel like we take very lightly how much like the music that we consume like affects us and that. So I've been trying to listen to more like positive music regardless of where I am, the gym, in my car. Sometimes I'm in my car and I don't listen to anything. Like I'll just drive and keep silence because I feel like it's kind of refreshing almost to just not think about anything almost. I kind of just go into this like cruise control and just driving not even like thinking about anything which is kind of tough because like be life and like you just be thinking about a million and one thing so it's kind of nice to just like cool down just vibe and not listen to anything but if i am going to listen to something it's usually some afro beats because i love some they just be on some pause i don't know what they're saying though no idea i don't know what the hell they're talking about but like good feel nice maybe want to dance a little bit but enough talking let's get back to work Guys, we made it to the end of this workout. It was intense. It was lit. It wasn't lit, guys. That shit sucked. <laughs> it was actually terrible. My legs are burning. I'm tired, you guys. Like, that was a killer workout. Like, I haven't been working out. I don't think I told you guys, but I don't. I haven't been working out for like over a month, I think. Like, and that's very unlike me because I go to the gym almost every day and if i do miss a day it's like maybe once or twice out the week but i'm pretty consistent gym girl you know what i'm saying but not no more who am i who am i becoming i don't know i'm just kidding i'm good you guys like i said we're getting out of the slump and we're doing it together even if you're not a gym person it's all good i think the first step to like getting out of a slump is finding something that just gets you outside even if it's just going for a walk even if it is just going outside getting some sun that's a start just start somewhere start anywhere more than whatever you've been doing because for me personally because i'm so used to being in the gym when i'm not in the gym that's unlike me like going to the gym isn't crazy for me because that is something i'm used to doing so just get back to what you normally do get get back on it and do it better be better. The thing about being in a slump too, it's a never ending thing. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys I'm never gonna be in a slump again, because that's false. It's false. Like, you gonna be in a slump again, but the thing about it is you gotta know how to get out of it. Break the cycle every single time, because when you stay in that cycle for too long, that's when the slump starts slumping. The slump turns into depression, and I don't wish that on nobody. Depression sucks. It hurts. It's a lot of, it's a lot of hurting, bruh. Depression is hurt. And it sucks and I don't wish that on nobody but I think a gym is a good start like I'm not saying you have to go hard you don't have to go ham you just start even go on a treadmill for 10 minutes just do something I promise you the gym changes your life in ways that you didn't think it could like it hurts it sucks like I'm not a big fan of the gym I know some people are but it's not me and that's fine I don't enjoy the gym but I love the results, I love the way I feel afterwards, and for me, it makes everything else worth it. Some, sometimes you gotta do things that you don't necessarily like, but the outcome is is good, you know what I'm trying to say? And I think I just keep saying that, cause like, life just be life. There's some things that are just inevitable. Bad things are always gonna happen. Like, it's inevitable. It's just what you make of it. Just be great, be better, just do better. You know, one thing I will say, there was one time I was in a really bad slump, like, so bad i didn't even recognize myself i was becoming somebody i have never met in my entire life it was somebody completely different and that is true like in each phase of our life we're becoming a new person it's like meeting a new person at the same time but this version of myself that i met mm -mm, guys that was scary that was a scary time i'm not gonna lie i stopped believing in god or i wouldn't say i stopped believing in him but i had a lot of distrust in him like i didn't understand why a lot of things were happening to me and the way they were happening was just like, why would a God that loves me so much let this happen? It's not, but I was allowing it to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, things happen because, it's not because God wants it to, or whatever it is that you believe in. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, things just happen, but it's what you do with it, you know what I'm saying? I allowed it to happen. I allowed it to go further than what it was. It didn't have to be what I thought it was at all, you know what I'm saying? I did read this one book. It was called The Secret. I'm not a book reader, guys. I hate books. I ain't gonna lie to you. I hate them. I can't read. I tried. Same thing with journaling. Mm -mm, not me, but... <laughs> But anyways, that book, The Secret, literally changed my life. Just to give you just a fragment of what that book is about, basically your thoughts are what becomes your reality. So if you have negative thoughts, then those negative thoughts will become your reality, right? Basically, the, the secret of life is just to change the way that you think. Just think more positively. Even when stuff is bad. I made an analogy one time. You know when something bad happens and then you just tell yourself, oh, this day can't get any worse and then it does? That's that. Don't tell yourself that. Just be like, oh, I got a flat tire? Damn, that sucks. And that was that. Leave it at that. Don't let it be more than what it is. And that's the secret of life. I don't know. I'm not a philosopher, guys, so don't quote me. But that's what I took out of it, and it changed my life completely. And I feel like I'm the best version of myself now. And that doesn't mean I don't get into slumps or ruts, because I do. I'm human, and I will again and again and again, over and over again. But we just learn to get out of it, and that's my thing. Like, I'm going to get out of it, 100%. No excuses, but let's wrap this up. I'm hungry, I'm really hungry actually. I haven't ate anything today. So let's go get some food in this belly. All right, you guys, I made it back home. I'm halfway through my Smoothie King because I, like I told you guys, I was hungry. I haven't ate anything. And then I got me some burger fry. And before you all crucify me in the comments, like, girl, you just took us to the gym. Why would you go get a burger? It's a veggie burger. And if you haven't tried burger part of veggie burger, y'all are tripping because it's 10 out of 10. Because, you know, one thing, a lot of these other places that I go to get veggie burgers, they make it, like, mushy. No. Burger fire makes it crispy just the way I like it. The whole thing. Like, it's soft. Somewhat soft, like, in the middle. But it has, like, crispy edges. And it's fire. Like, it's literally fire. Go get you some burger fire veggie fire burger. Mmm. It's too good. Also, I don't know why I'm eating outside. Like I said, we're getting out of a slump, a rut, whatever you want to call it. So I decided, you know what? Let's do something different. Let's eat outside. And just pretend that it's nice and sunny outside. Because it's shitty. It's disgusting. It's cold, actually. Super, super cold. Like, it's not giving what it needs to give to get out of a slump. It's actually giving quite the opposite. It's giving, like, I need to go in bed and never get up. That's what it is, but that's perfect because your mind is telling you like, yeah, you need to go to bed and just sit there and just binge watch Netflix. No, train your mind. Nah, this is a perfect day. Let's get out. Let's do stuff, right? You gotta train your mind to just think differently. So that's what we're doing. I'm out here outside with my boy, um, Milo. Come here. Come here, pops. Come. Look at my boy, guys. My boy. My baby boy. Me and him getting some sun-ish. Y'all just pretend that we're getting some sun out here. But, guys, we're going to do something that we have never done before, guys. I'm actually quite nervous. I'm literally terrified. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking just thinking about it because this is going to be something super eventful. Um, after I'm done eating this, we are going to do the most terrifying thing I could possibly think of. A cold shower. Cold showers are terrible. At least they feel that way. But supposedly there's a lot of health benefits, so that's why we're going to give it a go. Um, but like I said, any way that does it religiously, you scare me. A lot. Yeah, we're going to try it out. We're, we're trying new things together, right? Like, we going we gonna to do it together, guys? Or it's just going to be me? And y'all watching me. <laughs> but seriously, after y'all watch this video, I need y'all to go take a cold shower. Just try it. Okay, we have to do it together. As you guys can tell, I am in my bathroom. Um, I'm regretting my entire life right now because I'm about to do the unthinkable, the unspeakable, this cold ass shower that why did I say I was going to do that? Because of some health benefits. I don't know why. <sighs> but I'm very much regretting this. It's cold outside to do a cold shower like not not really it for me but like i said i said i'm gonna do it so and i keep my word so that's what we're gonna do y'all just gonna have to trust that the water behind me is actually cold and if you don't just 
that's crazy because like I was not trusting it. We're building trust here, right? How that's what that's what that's what I said. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool about Never again am I doing that. Because why? That was way too fucking cold. Like and funny story actually for you guys, like when I was in high school, I used to play basketball, right? And my coach used to make us do these like cold plunges or cold, whatever, ice baths, whatever you want to call it, right? At the end of practice sometime. And I don't know how I wasn't kicked off the team um, because I literally never did it. I refused. I actually did refuse. I told my coach, yeah, I'm not doing that. Nah, I'm not. Because I couldn't, like I would get in there and that's, you know, it's like mind over whatever it's called my mind was not strong enough to to take an ice bath like i couldn't do it so yeah i never took an ice bath and all my teammates did that's actually kind of crazy now that i talk about it but that was terrible zero out of ten don't recommend but do it still do it i will still do it guys here and there i, I can't I ain't gonna lie to y'all i don't know how much I'm, how many times i'm gonna do it but i will do it again until like it's actually not cold anymore for me. So we did it, we conquered, we lived, and yeah. We are in my room now. Um, let's clean this monstrosity that I call a room. I actually did wash all my sheets yesterday and I washed all my dirty laundry. So I literally just need to fold it, which is, I feel like is the hardest part about doing laundry. It's not actually doing the laundry it's getting the clothes out and folding it like it's so annoying and why is it so annoying i have no idea but it just is and like that's the real struggle about doing laundry i already put my sheets on the bed maybe i should fluff it out my bed isn't necessarily dirty it just doesn't look great either like look at the pillows it's just not in order so we're just gonna put it in order which is kind of funny because can't really tell but it's nighttime now and i'm about to lay in it in like maybe 30 minutes so it's gonna be kind of pointless don't know why i kind of did a little bit backwards but we're still gonna get it done because that is part of getting out of the slump i'm going to reorganize my like desk area because that shit is a mess that shit's crazy and like i'm not saying that fixing your room is gonna fix your entire life and you know there's that saying that goes like Oh, your room is what's going on inside your head. If that's the case, my brain is fried. Because my room, it's not dirty. It's just sometimes I just have a lot of clutter. And I guess maybe that is what's going on in my head. But I don't like to think so. But who knows? Only me and God know that. Or maybe just God. But yeah, we need to declutter that. Fix the bed. And we're getting on the right track. Yeah, I like that term. As if this is not the tidiest room you ever saw in your entire life. Oh my god! Wow! Hey yeah, you guys, this brings us to the end of the video. We're ending it where we started. Um, I'm tired. It's 9.46 now. Time to wind down, relax. I'm gonna watch this Netflix show. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. So I don't even want to recommend it right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I somewhat sort of maybe helped you get out of your slump, your rut, whatever it is that you're going through. I hope this video helped just a little bit. And yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video.